early on an upcoming flotilla of ships, um, one of which will be an Irish cargo ship. But I would like to say, um, as, as well as we gather here to mourn and remember the victims of that day and to mourn the victims of the ongoing war crimes in Palestine, I think it's also very important that we remember that Palestinians are not only victims of Israeli war crimes, but are survivors of those. And their strength, endurance, and courage in the face of a devastating occupation and siege is something that we really have to pay respect to. Um, on a few practical notes, uh, we today uh, bought a ship, <laughs> an Irish cargo ship, that is going to be sailing together, hopefully, in the coming weeks as part of an international initiative and coalition um, of six to ten ships um, from Turkey, Greece, uh, Sweden, etc. Um, the Irish cargo ship we're really hoping will be a very practical manifestation or translation of the empathy and grief and outrage that people across Ireland feel when witnessing the ongoing oppression of the Palestinian people that will translate into something very practical. Uh, the ship will be loaded with over 500 tons of cement, medical supplies, educational materials, etc. And we hope to set sail within the coming three weeks. In order to do so, we're all going to have to work pretty hard in the coming weeks. Um, and we'd request, if any of you have any free time, we really need hands on board. Uh, one practical thing that we'll be doing is a send a bag of cement to, to Gaza sort of campaign, whereby schools and trade unions and hospitals, community centers, etc., can sponsor a bag of cement to Gaza for five euros, um, which is not only, obviously, to raise much-needed funds, but also to get mass popular involvement in the campaign. Um, we've also got a ship now that is docked in Dundalk Porsche um, for the coming weeks. Uh, a couple of weeks ago we had over a lot of navigational equipment stolen off of it um, and there is a real fear of potential sabotage on the boat. So we're also trying to get a rota uh, of about 50 people over the coming three weeks that can commit two people per night to sleeping on the cargo ship overnight. So if any of you have three nights uh, and don't mind the cold, uh, we could really use a hand with that. Um, also, when the launch happens, it would be great to have a, great, a big turnout for that and for people really to be putting pressure um, on the government here in terms of coming out with the courage, or sorry, with the stance of a little bit more courage and conviction in calling for a safe passage. Um, but with that, I'm going to pass you over to Eva um, and thanks everybody for coming. And if anybody wants to talk about the two things that I mentioned afterwards, hey, we're here for the next little bit. Thank you. Which is being steadily colonized. Apartheid is 